That is indeed true, Chris, and in case you people have not noticed yet, we are kind of a bit lazy when it comes to uploading Drop Zone. So, we have decided to upload it on this... What are you doing with that knife? Your knife! Anyway, we've decided to put Sin City and Drop Zone both on the same day, and thus, ladies and gentlemen, we can begin the true competition here at Achilles Hill Company. Also, hey, true Mason, and as we are talking about competition, as we are talking about emancipation, and as we are talking about proclamations, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we will definitely, definitely, definitely get ready for this match. And Ladies and gentlemen, here we go! And as you can see, we have, we have, woo! Oh my god! Listen to that noise, Nathan! That is indeed true, Chris, and here comes out the bomb, ready to face in this matchup against. <laughs> against hey. other competitors, of which my partner has no idea who they are! It is We Know the Bomb versus Mr. Drama and Jokes! That is indeed true, Chris, and this should be an incredible, incredible because ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we is the leader of a particular group called Power to the People, and it looks like it... I said Power to the... Never mind. Well, that's not their symbol? No, Chris. It's more like a fist in the air kind of thing. But that's not important. Why are they in the fisting? I, what? That's not important. What's important is that we... Oh my god, it's so black! As apparently enlisted the aid of the bump, while Lucius Caesar here has the aid of this huge man, Dokes. As I was on the same truly has enlisted the aid of this man who might possibly, possibly be Dokes. And as you can see, oh my god, oh my god, it has started. Oh, what would make me call the match? That is indeed true, Chris. This is going to be an incredible tag team matchup between Power of the People and the Elite. And it is definitely going to be an incredible, incredible tag team matchup, not just because you have four great competitors, but because you have two members of two different stables battling it out. As a nature, as you can see, uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh we on Caesar and Nathan, Nathan, will tonight be the night that we cash this in the anytime, anywhere briefcase? I don't think so, Chris. I mean, if we wanted to, he could cash it in enough in tonight's main event match, which will be Strike versus Mystic Ninja, and that should be an incredible matchup. But Chris, I think we has to kind of think about this for a minute. That's the need you. Uh oh. What's going on here? Oh. Oh man. Ooh, a vicious hate team elbow drop. If he if he cashes in tonight, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to deal with both the prime time player Strike. Oh and. The Mystic Ninja. Woo! Well, think that technically he could catch it in after the match. Technically he could. But let us see if Weed can not only cash in the money in the bank, but also get put on the victory because he has yet to beat Caesar in a one on one match. That's an true, but it's not going to happen tonight because this is not a one on one match. And speaking of one on one matches, Weed with that vicious DDT on Dokes. And now, what is he doing? Oh! And right now, Reed is a complete capital. Oh, oh, oh no! Reed is something that everybody would like to carry in their pockets! That is indeed true, but right now it looks like Dokes has Reed right where he wants him. Uh, just and he's gonna smoke him out! That is <laughs> What? And right now it looks like Reed's right back on the offense, but For Dokes! For medicinal purposes, of course! Oh, Dokes with an STO on Reed, and it looks like Dokes is now in control of this match. We are not in Colorado! This is not legal! Right now, Dokes is going right after Reed, and oh, oh, big old elbow to the face. Big elbow to the face is a day correct, and as you can see, Dokes and Reed are going at it. Dokes, yo, know, I'm gonna say, Dokes is gonna be a wild, wild card in this match. That is indeed true. I mean, Caesar just made, uh, just allied himself with the elite, and we're gonna have to see what exactly the Dokes is. Um, 
I don't know. Dokes is true Woo! nature is. But we probably won't see it in this match. That's an eat you! Boom! Oh my god, he's just hurting! Hurting them! Uh, beating the crap out of weed! That is an eat you! And wow, oh my god, he's got a little submission maneuver just working on the on the head. And wait a minute, what, what is Caesar doing? I do not know! I am not a mathematician! And right now, it looks like... Oh, looks like we going after Caesar. I don't know what Caesar was thinking there. I mean, Dokes could have won that match, ladies and gentlemen, but it just looks like it's just not gonna happen. It does, and oh, uh, we whoops him over in the corner, and now oh, uh, the vicious tie team. But no, what are we gonna see here? Uh oh, yeah. uh oh, oh Bob and we going out after Dokes, and now the monster killer, the bomb, is now. Going after this huge. Think that he should be investigated. The monster killer? Well, it's actually just a phrase, Chris. He's taking out some man. He's taking out. In this world. day and age, when kids cannot bring guns to school, somebody should not be able to call themselves a killer. Wait, wait, what? Anyway, the bomb is called the monster killer because he's taking out some man and he's taking out Komodo Dragon. Now let us see. What qualifies them as monsters? Well. First of all, the man is a big, strong guy who has been very dom- well, well, was at one point very dominant here in the NGWF. And Komodo Dragon, well, he's always had Jesse Duel speak for him. And not to mention, Komodo Dragon is one of the most dominant wrestlers here in the NGWF. So why does Bum get to kill them? He, he doesn't actually kill them. He just kind of beats them in matches, puts them on the shelf. Oh, so to speak. Well, Well, let's see if that's what Caesar truly wants, but I don't think you're reading this match correctly. Well, I think they're going against a monster killer and something that's used for medicinal purposes. <sighs> oh, crying out loud. Right now, it looks like dopes. <laughs> Wait a minute, what is, the weed just got a little too excited, went after his tag team partner, and Caesar taking full advantage of it. Nathan, if I couldn't believe it myself, I would say that this is probably a demon versus Goliath type of match. Do you think every tag team match is David with No, Nathan, any time you're going against a guy called the Monster Killer, Nathan, it has to be legendary. He doesn't exactly kill him. Oh. Right now, Dokes going on the outside, taunting Weed, making him come out while Bob and Caesar are fighting viciously on the outside. Wait a minute, what is Weed doing? Oh! Oh, he didn't! He missed! Dokes just turned! Uh, just turned just a tad bit to the right! All right now, Dokes going right after the bump. Let's see where this is gonna go. He whips him into the table, puts him on the table. Oh no! Oh, wait a What's gonna happen? Wait a minute, Dokes. Dokes will take. Wait a minute, DDT on the table. A vicious DDT, and now we. Oh, oh my God, man. that is incredible. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is for the hundreds and hundreds of fans across this great nation. All right now, Bum's going right after Dokes. He whips him over to the steel steps, and eventually Dokes stops. But what's that, Dokes? And Bum, oh, are having a great back and forth battle. Well, Caesar and Weed are having a battle of their own. All hell broke loose here tonight, and Caesar is just trying to clean up the pieces. All right now, it looks like Caesar, oh, gets a neck breaker for his problems, and Dokes is. Walking right over. See, Nathan, there's your problem. He just gave him a neck breaker? Well, because it's a move. And that's what the move is called. It doesn't actually break your neck. Nathan, it could have! Right. right now, it looks like Dokes is making his way back to the ring. Wait a minute. Oh! It definitely looks that way. It looks like Weed is not on the same page as Bum. Well, Caesar and oh, Dokes seem to be on the on the on the page. That's a neat true, ladies and gentlemen, a glass of marmalade! Right now, looks like Bum with a bulldog! A NGWS special bulldog, ladies and gentlemen, at home, take a treat! I know. The bum looking a little too reluctant to tag in his partner, but he does it anyway. And now we have Caesar versus Weed! Oh. 
A vicious back elbow drop, and now the pin! One! Only one! Only a one count! As he chew him right now, looks like Caesar, he whips him against the ropes. We is hanging off a deal life, but Caesar just punches him on the outside. Just punches him on the outside is an incorrect! And as you can see, Dukes is just trying to make sure that Weed gets back in the ring! And ow, oh, an elbow to the back of Weed's head. That is an true, and now he goes for the pin! One! one. Only, Only a one count! Right now, Weed, oh, with a DDT on Caesar! That was vicious luck, it might have busted Caesar open! Might have, and then he whips him off the turnbuckle. What's gonna happen? Oh! A tremendous drop kick by Weed. Oh, it looks like Weed's got something in his eye! Look. As Caesar gets up! Caesar now puts him on the tumble, but what's he gonna do? Oh well, wait, Weed reverses it! And a neck break! Oh my god, Nathan! Right now, Weed going right after Caesar. And wait a minute, what's he gonna do here? Pile driver and Caesar's been busted right open! That was a vicious, vicious pile driver! Wait a minute, and he spits in his face! Oh my god, Nathan! That is just disrespectful! And on Caesar and no, absolutely no count. Nathan, you don't come into a wrestling match expecting to get spit in the face. Right now, it looks like Caesar is going right after we. Ow, with a huge uppercut to the face, throws the bomb to the to buckle. Ow, and a DDT. A vicious ow! Knocks him on the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a pretty good opening matchup, and Reed, for some odd reason, uh oh, wow! Oh, don't just Dukes was just making sure that he did not stay on that drum buckle for too long. I right, know. Looks like Caesar's going right after Weed. He's got him this Weed seems to be in a bad way right now. Right now, Caesar is definitely he's got it all going. He's got to make sure. No, he just lets it go. Uh, isn't he true? And oh, they lock up. Who's gonna win? Who is gonna win? Oh, it's Caesar! 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 Bam! A headbutt and a belly to belly suplex. A belly to belly suplex is indeed correct. And as you can see, Weed is busted open. He is not happy. Uh oh, he's grabbing some steel steps. And what is he gonna do? Right now, it looks like Weed. He's getting right back into the ring and and a flapjack! An amazing flapjack! Uh oh! And he's going for the hot tag! Oh my god, he got it! He got it! The bomb! Boom! Oh. Right to the face and now with jokes! And now he goes down to the ground! That was an incorrect! Oh. oh! DDT from Caesar! Vicious DDT! Alright now, what's gonna happen here? And Caesar with oh. a hot tag of his own! Here comes out Jokes! He has fired his ready! Boom! Absolutely vicious punch! And knocks Weed right out! That's an indeed true enough! Jokes! Uh oh! Wait a minute! He picks him up! And wait a minute! Oh my god! He throws him halfway across the damn ring! Oh wait! That cheater! That cheater ran in there and decided he was gonna get a little piece of Dokes! And right now. Oh no! Oh. He just broke Caesar's neck! It did not break Caesar's neck right now. The bump going after Dokes. Dokes is gone. The bump right where he wants it, but bump reverses it. Weed and Caesar are fighting. On, but right now, Weed is coming out to the aid of the bump by going right after Dokes. That's an Oh my god, now Dokes has been busted wide open by this cheer. And Caesar, ow, going right after. He goes with a vicious, vicious neckbreaker, and he throws Caesar on the outside. It looks like, yes, oh, we. Oh, we just got a special oh. DDT, and Weed is definitely busted open now. Weed has been busted wide open. Caesar going after the bump. He picks him up. Oh, he slams on the back of his head. And Dokes throws Weed into the turnbuckle. And wait a minute, what is Caesar going to do here? He's going to try to make bump tap. He's going to try to make bump tap in this incredible maneuver. This is going to work. There's the camel clutch. Going to claim the victim. And wait a minute. And if though bump is tapping, he is not the legal man. Weed is. Yes, Nathan, what are we going to decide that that was going to be what was happening? I knew it was going to happen. 
No, you didn't. But yes, I did. Nathan, I knew who the legal man was. Really? Who's the two legal men? Nathan, the two legal men are Dopes and Bum. Right now, it looks like Dopes and Bum. You oh. incorrectly said that we was in. Well, possibly. Right now, Dopes and Bum and Ow Backbreaker. Backbreakers, they agree on Dopes for the pin one. Only, only a, a one count. Only a one count and Ow, just a vicious, vicious. Close line, ow, and another vicious maneuver from Dokes. And he's going for the pen. One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, the matches are the closest one we were handed out. And Dokes and Caesar, as unlikely as it would seem at times, especially with the amount of times that uh, we tried to break everybody's neck. Ladies and gentlemen, they have come up victorious in this David vs. Goliath type of battle. Right uh, now, it looks like Lucius Caesar and Dokes walk away with a huge victory for the Elite. And this was an incredible matchup between these four great competitors. As it is true, Nathan, as we can see on the replays, all the stuff that happened here tonight. As it is true, in the replays of this incredible tag team matchup, ladies and gentlemen, we usually like to have even wilder matches, tornado tag team matches, but this was a traditional style tag team match, and the Elite walked away the victor. because you have three former world champions in this match and you have the current champion, uh, current West Coast champion, Hardcore Eats. As we turn out, they see Hardcore Eats coming off the ring. This is the, 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 and there was a boss left up and a and a and a, and a, and a, and a and a That wasn't even, I don't even know what the hell you just said. But they <laughs> And Hulk Kareeds at one point had a very short feud. So Chris, in some essence, this is like a battle of old time feuds versus new time feuds. As an as you can see, De La Cola making his way out to the arena here tonight at Drop Zone. That is an A2. We haven't seen much of De La Cola so far this year, and that we're hoping that changes. But here he comes, the former NGWF World Champion, the two-time four champion, and one-time tag team champion, Dale Cola, making his way. And Chris, this is just Oh, here we go! And this is gonna be incredible. And as you can see, old feuds <laughs> die hard as Juan Greens is going after Dale Cola and the wolf is going after that grave digger. Nathan, who do you have in this match? Well, Chris, I would often like to think that either Gravedigger or Hulk Marines might come out up top. But I have to say that the Wolf has the best chance coming out in this match because he is the craftiest. While Dale Cullen is going to waste too much time doing that hardcore ultra violent stuff, and Hulk Marines is not going to pay that much attention to the actual uh, events going on in the ring right now. That can indeed be true as we're not sure exactly what's going to happen, and the Wolf is definitely my pick. Because he's cutting and he has beat every single one of these competitors before that I'm aware of. Hey, well, he hasn't beat Dale Cola yet. How do you know that? Oh, because they never had a match. Are you entirely sure of that statement to put your reputation on the line? Yes, Chris, I will put my reputation on the line because Dale Cola and the Wolf have never fought each other. Not even last year. Not even last year. Not even last year. Not even last year. Okay, Nathan, the Wolf has beat everybody in this ring that I have seen. Right now. 
the wolf going right after Gravedigger and Gravedigger and the wolf. Uh, like I said, mentioned before, these two had the, one of the most brutal, one of the most intense feuds. It didn't last long, but it was incredible within the matches that these two put on. Five star matches every single time. That's an eight cheer that you see. Oh, 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 special on down. Call the kids, take a drink at home. That's an eight cheer. And the hardcore heats now. He's got a kendo stick with the. the and now the wolf. Oh, and a kendo stick. Oh, the West Coast champion, uh, Hardcore Eats, is wait a minute, now the wolf's going out after him, and Grimdinger picks up this goal, oh, it slams him. Wolf's going for the finish. Wolf's trying to go for a camel clutch maneuver, but Hardcore Eats, oh, just not having it. Just not having it is indeed correct. I mean, let's look at, let's look at all four of these competitors, Chris. You've got Grimdinger, the longest reigning NGWF oh, World Champion. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Chris. But at the same time, Baby has had the title, the Angel of World title, for nearly a year and a half. Not to mention he is a West Coast, he was a West Coast champion and a Rage champion. The first person in a long time to win two titles. Now, Dale Cola on the other time, on the other hand, like we mentioned before, he is a multi-time champion too. An Angel of World Champion, a three-time world champion, and one tag tag team. And then you've got the wolf, and well, I think by now everyone knows about wolf's accolades. Everybody knows about wolf. Oh my God! He just clocks the rim. Wolf don't like no. Well, he's called the apathetic anarchist for a reason. And we'll never see that. Oh, in this match. As an eight two, and as you can see, he just did that to Dylan Cole, and that goes for the pin. Wow. Oh, oh no. On the one count, and ladies and gentlemen at home, it would probably serve a purpose to let you guys know that Dylan Cole is bleeding. That is indeed true. De La Cola has been busted wide open, but this again, this is not the first time we've seen De La Cola busted wide open and yet not come out on top. In fact, I think blood kind of makes him want to fight even harder. That is indeed true. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, oh. 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 oh great here! One! Two. two! Only a two count. Only a two count in this elimination match. That is indeed true, Chris. All right now, hardcore eats. Going right after Grave Digger. Once again, trying to go for a pin. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. oh. oh my god, he was so close. Oh, Russian leg sweep by the wolf. And there's so much action going on in this matchup, it's hard to keep track of it. Wait a minute. Oh, huge handmaker to Grave Digger from Hulk. Wait a minute. What's he going to do? Uh oh. Picks him up. Oh, and a pile driver. Oh. Pretty much 
much his entire career. Well, it seems like for some odd reason, Hardcore Eats and uh, the Wolf are kind of avoiding each other. Uh, at, at the moment, it definitely looks that way, but no, not any longer. Uh, it's the Hardcore Eats that's going after the Wolf with a pile driver. Oh, vicious pile drivers and Ingrid on the pit. One. one. Only on one count. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. What's he going to do? Wait a minute, he was going with something. Oh, Dale Cola reverses it. Dale Cola reverses it is indeed correct. And now Dale Cola seems to have the advantage of this match. Oh, that is indeed true. He definitely seems to be coming back. The MGWF original Dale Cola is definitely showcasing why he, at oh. one point, was one of the most dominant wrestlers in the MGWF. And now he's and now it looks, looks like Hulk Reeds takes the guitar all oh, the way from Wolf and then hits De La Cola with it. And now, a one! Only on one count. It just looks like De La Cola just will not die. That is a big grand, and what is going to happen here? Wait a minute. Ow! Oh, hits him. And the Wolf now, oh! Goes right after Hulk Reeds. And now, oh, with a clothesline from De La Cola. That is indeed correct. Uh-oh. And here we go yet with another pile driver. Oh! That's definitely a vicious, vicious pile driver. And now he picks him up. Uh-oh. Double on the ET. A vicious double on the ET. And ladies and gentlemen, one, two, two and three. three. And that is down to my favorite. Oh! oh man, here we go. This is it, Ethan. This is it. Here we go. These two men are prime time, ladies and gentlemen. And now, the pin! One! They're going to continue where they left off at prime time 2013. We're going to see just who the better man is in this match. Who is going to face Mystic Ninja? That's going to be true, and uh oh! submission maneuver. He's trying to make the wolf tap, but he doesn't want to make him tap. He wants to bring the pain to the wolf. Definitely wants to bring the pain. And what is going to... Uh-oh. And here we go. Uh -oh. Yes, again. Uh oh Vicious, vicious pile driver. That is indeed true. It looks like this is going to be... Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Wait the hell? Boom. Oh, my God. He landed hard on that mat. The pin. One. Two! Only a two count! Only a two count is a beat oh. right on the hit, and out of nowhere, double on TDT right on the belt! That is a grab on one, two, three! Oh my god, Hardcore Beats, the West Coast champion, is the number one contender and will face Mystic Ninja! That is a beat true, he will face Mystic Ninja for the NGWF World Title at Head of the Hell 2013, and Chris, that is going to be an amazing match. That's an eight two. Ladies and gentlemen, I just, this was an incredible match. I just cannot believe what happened here tonight. I mean, out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Just out of nowhere, the double on DDT, right on the belt, and right there, that was the end of the war and the beginning of Hulk Hardcore's legacy here in the NWA. As a major, as you can see, Hardcore is celebrating, and he has many things, many, many things to celebrate here tonight. Make the coming.
beg my pardon for watching a little too much WWE, ladies and gentlemen. Out of the way, Tony Johnny, as you can see, help, come on! gentlemen, we don't know much about El Cabario Verde. We don't even know much about Abdullah Kalam. We do know that these two are going to be are going to be incredible in this match. We do know this is going to be very intense. This is going to be very brutal. So if you are one of those weak-minded people, if you, if you are weak at heart, so to speak, do not watch this match. This is going to be just absolutely intense. Here comes Abdullah Karam, and as you can see, he does not have that title on him anymore. Uh, he lost it in a different federation, so we're not going to go too much into that. But as you can see, he's coming out of the ring, and he is showing that he has what it takes to be in an NGWF arena and an NGWF ring here tonight. That is indeed true. Oh, my God! You can see that spacious bell ring. And right now, It might be, oh, and a power slam from Kabarrio. That was definitely a vicious power slam that happened there in the ring. Oh, way. vicious, vicious clothesline from Abdullah Karam. And already this match is picking up. Oh, 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 oh. Just an incredible, brutal, physical, physical match. That's a big true, as you can see. Oh, they lock up. They lock up real good. Oh, my God. But El Kabarrio, oh, no reversal by Karam. Oh, oh. Vicious clothesline. Wait, man. It looks like Abdullah Kalam now is whipping him right into the ring. And oh, man. Just an absolutely vicious kick. And now he's going back and kicking him even more. I mean, this, like I said, Chris, this is not for the faint of heart. It is not for the faint of heart. Is it incorrect? As you can see, oh, no. But Kalam grabs his foot and threw him down. And what is going to happen? Oh. Oh, knocks him down. And now he's going up to the top. He's going up to the top. Oh, what's going to happen? Oh, but he misses El Caballo. It looks like he miscalculated on that vicious missile. <laughs> hey. Right now, El Caballo tried to go for a, a springboard move, but just didn't work. Uh oh, oh no. single leg crab! Single leg crab! El Caballo has crabs! Uh, what? Right now, Caballo getting out of that submission maneuver. And wait a minute! Gentlemen, so class! I agree, true! And right now, another German suplex on the back of his head. That's indeed true. And these men are fighting. These men are brave. These men are NGWF originals. The originals? Originals. As in, they come to the NGWF and they're original-like characters. Right. Right now, it looks like Abdullah Kalam is in control of El Gabalio. And Gabalio goes right back in the ring. Abdullah just... Woo! This loves him back out, but Gabalio right now. Oh! He bet he goes up top. Oh, and, I, and I, just a big old clothesline. A big old clothesline is indeed correct. Wait a minute. He's whipping him against the ropes. What's it going on here? Oh, oh my god! And then he just barely, barely missed that table. And another one! Hey, who do you got in this match? Chris, from what I am seeing thus far, I'm gonna have to say, El Caballo is the most impressive, so I'm gonna go with him. I'm gonna have to go with Abdullah Karam! Why is indeed that, Chris? I don't want him to fly a plane into my house! Hey, Chris, not everybody from the Middle East is a terrorist. Not everybody, but all terrorists are from the Middle East! Hey, but right now it looks like Abdullah Karam throws him up against the ropes. What's he gonna do? Oh, and a big old haymaker to Caballo. Definitely big, definitely, oh, definitely a haymaker to the Caballo. The Caballo's got a guitar, it looks like, oh no. The Abdullah Karam says, no, you are not gonna play any tunes on me. Woo! Instead, I'm gonna play the tunes on you. Right now. Oh, DDT from Abdullah Karam. A vicious DDT, now he picks him up. And what is he gonna do he here? Up the ropes. Oh! oh! Absolutely vicious jumping clothesline. He goes off the top rope. What's he gonna do? Oh, that elbow to the chest. A vicious elbow, and now what is he gonna do? I cannot wait to. Uh oh, wait a minute. No, no. Right on the guitar, Boston. He just busted the volume right open. Busted it wide open is indeed correct. I mean, this is just an incredible. Intense match! I 
because this match, these men are holding absolutely nothing back. Absolutely nothing back is an incorrect and out. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, belly to belly. Belly to belly is an incorrect. Let's have the body of this. Definitely in control of a dual Kalan right now. I think he has plans for that table. We'll have to see. It's still there. But Cavalio, he, he's going to get a submission maneuver. He's going to try to wear down Abdullah. He's going to try to get Abdullah to submit to his will. But Abdullah just ain't happy. Just ain't happy. to Cavario, and now a DDT. Looks like where he's taunting. Oh! Big, big old clothesline by Cavario. And Chris, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the days where Sabu and Taz had their incredible matches back in ECW. Very physical, very violent, very, very tense matches. And that is what we're seeing from these two men. They ran into each other, probably because both of them had something planned in a belly. <laughs> right now, Aluka Bali is definitely in control of this match, despite the fact that he's been busted wide open. He is taunting. He wants Abdullah to come back in the ring. He wants to do some damage to him. That's an incorrect, and we're going to see what's going to happen here. Wait a minute, what is he going to do here? He's got him. He's got him. Wait a minute. He pulls him in. He picks him up. And is not exactly winning this match. Ow! Then he gets thrown down. He gets thrown down as an incorrect. Ow! And a punch to his, uh, I guess his... His nads! Yeah. Yeah, right now, looks like Abdul Kalam is not at the mercy of El Caballo. But no, El Caballo manages to just stop it in the nick of time. Oh, but... And speaking of the nick of time, uh-oh, sets him up on that wood. As it be true, it looks like Kabali has plans for him and that table. What is he gonna do? He goes up on the top, but wait a minute, where's he going? He's gonna go get the steel steps instead. Oh, oh my god, did you see that one fly? That table just flew across the ring. I'm not ten! Not even a one count. And Battle oh, Valley! Wait a minute. Abdullah Karam. Now on the ground, where Cavalier goes up top, and a springboard elbow. Springboard elbow is an incorrect, and now what is he gonna do? He goes back to the outside. It looks like he's gonna go back to retrieve that table, all oh, because he wants to put Abdullah through it. He wants to bring as much pain and suffering as he can to Abdullah. One. No. Only on one count. Oh. And now, do it for all now. He's got those steel steps. Oh, the vicious hit from those steel steps. And another vicious hit, and boom! It looks like right now, Dilla Karam is in complete control of this match. That's an incorrect. What's going to happen here? Oh, man. Just a good old-fashioned hip toss. Wait a minute. Abdu uh, El Caballo it looks like he's preparing for something. What's he going to do here? Super kick to the face, knocking down Abdullah. And there he goes for the pins. Oh. One, two, two, only a two count. Oh, oh, only a two count. And Abdullah Kalam now. Woo! Open clothesline. We've seen this before. And wait a minute. Oh, my this maneuver. Bam! And ladies and gentlemen, this is like a good over. One, two, and three. Abdullah Kalam walks away. The victor in this incredible physical match. That is an true, and as you guys are seeing the highlights, this match was just incredible, incredible here tonight. That is an true, guys. It was, it was intense. It was brutal. It was extreme. It is everything you want here at Rock Zone. And ladies and gentlemen, well, I'm getting word in the back that there will be a match for the core title next, Phantom versus Caesar 
for the core title. Now, what a what a bizarre turn of events. Chris, what do you think about that? Hey, then I think that a good Rob is celebrating and he has every right to celebrate because he won here tonight. And the, the weirdest match of my life might possibly be taking place here in the next few seconds. Hey, then this is gonna be something to believe. Swing a thong. I, I just, I, I don't know. I, uh, anyway. And speaking of not knowing, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Caesar. Here comes out Lucius Caesar, who Cameron Jones won earlier here tonight, and apparently Achilles Hill Incorporated want to put him in this impromptu match against Phantom, the court champion. I'm not sure why, but. Here tonight, Caesar has a chance to beat, well, the Phantom, or we're just going to call from now on, Alien Thong. Alien Thong is indeed correct. I'll just call him the Phantom because I don't want to emphasize that he's wearing a thong. Well, because it, it's kind of hard not to miss. Nathan, only if you look. Yeah. But at the same time, Chris, we're going to look and see if. Caesar has what it takes to win two matches here tonight. We're gonna see if he is truly as great as he thinks he is. Well, isn't it? I just, just, just why? Just why is he wearing a thong? Out of all the attire we have in the back, out of all the things he can wear, what? He could come out dressed like a goddamn panda for all I care. But why a thong? Ugh. Oh, oh the fish is eating tea! Right now, Caesar going right after Oh, the Phantom. It looks like Going after the Phantom is indeed correct! <sighs> right now. Oh, Caesar is in control of this match with a bulldog. And surprisingly, the Phantom is putting on an interesting uh, tone of events. Well, he is the core champion. That is indeed true, and he did win a prime time, gaining a huge, huge victory over Mr. Java and All American School. In fact, he put out All American School. I don't want to know about him putting out. <sighs> okay, he put. No, okay, wrong. Okay, I don't know how it fades out. He just took somebody's crutch. They just took someone's crutch. Let's just say that All American Skull is going to be out for a while because of the Phantom. There. Nothing sexual about that. So you're saying that because of the Phantom, All American Skull is now out? Yes, Chris. Of the closet? No, not. How did you even. You said he was out now. Uh, they said we did a new day. All right, now, Phantom is. Is in control of this match thus far. Caesar has yet to get any real true offense. Oh, there we go with the clothesline. And an elbow drop. And Phantom now coming back. Oh, with a shoulder block. With the vicious shoulder block is indeed correct. And right now, Phantom, I don't know what he's doing. He's going to the top. Nope, now he's going on the outside. And Caesar, oh, oh with a clothesline. Well, the vicious clothesline is indeed correct to the man in the phone. I right know. Oh, looks like the Phantom with an incredible, incredible back drop suplex is in control. He is in control, but for how much longer, Nathan? Uh, as long as, oh, as long as he's got uh, that, oh. foot, no, as long as he's got a weapon in his hand and the determination of a true core champion, he can walk away the victory. Oh, the vicious D, oh, I did not need to see that. There's a lot of things in life I wanted to see, and that was definitely not one of them. Definitely not on the top ten list of, oh my god, what's up with that angle? 
I don't know. I think our cameraman may be a little um, too appreciative of fandom's uh, exhibitionism. Oh, and speaking of exhibitionism, oh, and I dropped it. Not dropped it. A D D T. Yes, Nathan, they look very similar. <laughs> of course they do. And right now, oh, it looks like the Phantom has been busted right open, but thanks to the mask on his face, you will never see him bleeding. You will never see him bleeding. You might see the blood drip through, uh, out of the mask onto the mat, though. You might. It is a possibility. But I won't count on it. Right now, Caesar. Oh, you can see it. Is he in there? He's, he's on his period. I, I, maybe both. There. It's on both. Right now, looks like the Phantom going out. The pen now, but no, Caesar manages to kick out. Look at that shoulder look block for his troubles and a reverse. And now, oh, clothesline. A vicious clothesline is an incorrect. Oh, and a vicious DDT. Very vicious DDT. Caesar is getting back some offense. He's getting back in this match. And wait a minute, he picks him up and slams him down. A hard slam to the mat. A hard slam to the mat is indeed correct. And now, oh, he tried to put the elbow driver. Family burst it just in the nick of time. Family burst just in the nick of time is the big correct elbow for the man. One. Only, Only one. Only one count. Only a one count is the correct, Chris. And now, Phantom. He throws him into the turnbuckle. Oh, the big old elbows to the face. Wait a minute. Caesar scoring on the top rope. What is Phantom? Oh, he just oh. pushes him over. He pushes him over down. Down. To the ground. That is an ladies and gentlemen, as we can see what's going to happen in this match. Right now, wait a minute, Caesar was trying to hit him with the guitar, but no! Man, was the only one that was going to be making sweet, sweet music here tonight. That is an Nope, no cameraman. Thank God the cameraman's not where I thought he was going to be. Oh, no, good, good, because I didn't want to see that either. And right now, Caesar kicks out of that submission maneuver. And it looks like, yes, he's going right after the Phantom with that crutch. That is an A2, and as you can see, he's beating the ever living crap out of him. Oh, no. The Phantom has busted Caesar wide open in this match. That is an A2, and as you can see, Caesar going for something down there in the bottom, but it's all the guns out of Marley. And right now, it looks like Phantom's got a kendo stick, and he uses it on Caesar. Oh, wait a minute. What is Phantom going to do? Picks him up. Oh, and he drops him in some sort of bizarre suplex maneuver. And wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, minute. God. No. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh, that is, that is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the replay. Apparently, 
is someone back there think, thinks that Phantom was a Chippendales, uh, some dancer, but no, guys, no, no, you, you are sick, you are wrong, stop with those camera angles. Stop with those camera angles, Z Greg, and I don't know what Phantom seems to be doing, he seems to be showing off to the crowd, and what a bad idea, Caesar comes, oh, and he just, he just does his finishing maneuver. And in this impromptu matchup, Caesar beats the Phantom and becomes the new core champion. As we can, as we can see, oh my god, there were too many camera angles that I just do not wish to see. <laughs> I like that one! That is the truth, Chris. There was a lot of bad camera angles. There was a lot of punish. There was a lot of blood. There was a lot of um, very weird, weird things in this match. But in the end, Lucius Caesar walks away, Cold War champion, definitely getting to some momentum to the elite and to himself. That is the nature of Lucius Caesar. We are getting ready to roll into the main event, and we shall see you, ladies and gentlemen. Mystic Ninja, and if I recall this, this is going to be the first time these two have ever fought one on one. I think that is true, and as you can see, Stripe getting ready looks like he's mentally prepared for this match. And so are the Spanish announcers who, who have fought through many things tonight, let alone Phantom and the Bomb. I don't think many things can prepare you for that, but I don't think many things can prepare you for this incredible. Match of Ninja, this incredible main event match, Mr. Ninja versus Strike. Doesn't get any bigger than that. That's the nature of ladies and as you can see, as we're waiting, maybe we'll show you some gratuitous shots of Phantom in the phone. I no, we're not gonna do that because we like you, the fans. What if they want to see Phantom in the phone? Then we will give it to you, the fans. We two petitions for people to, er, for, for people, for fans in the boat. Now two people equals 500 billion Americans. No, we, no one does it. Hey. And speaking of 500 billion Americans, here comes out a man who quote unquote says he represents the people, I guess. Mystic Ninja, but really Mystic Ninja is a seller. He turned his back to the people. He joined forces with the war, creating the toughest career decision in his life. And he has, where was he before, Nathan? Where was he before he decided to do this? He was a nobody. Well, he was the engineer of world champion. But before that, Nathan, nobody, he was a nobody. Then he wins the world championship and realizes that to get anywhere, you're going to have to form Unholy alliances! Well, it's definitely unholy, as Mystic Wolf has been one of the most dominant uh, things we've seen in 2015 so far. And let's see if they can keep up that domination in this match. Let us see if Mystic Ninja, the NGW World Champion, can get the better of the 14-time NGW World Champion, that prime-time player, Strife. As an intern, as you can see, as we are getting ready, and... Oh, oh my god, did you see that vicious bell ring? Right now. No, but I did see that vicious, vicious clothesline. Fuck. Straight. What are you having this match? Well, Chris, I, I'm not entirely sure. These two are actually pretty even keel. They're both, uh, both on the same equal. And, and strike no foot off people, we're just going to censor it. <laughs> but Chris, like we said before, I mean, I hate to admit it. I really hate to admit it. The Mystic Ninja, I mean, ever since forming Mystic, Mystic Wolf, he has been unstoppable. He has been a force of nature. But at the same time, you have the 14-time NGWF World Champion in the ring with him. So I'm going to have to go with the primetime player. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm going to go with Mystic Ninja, the NGWF World Champion, the man, the myth, the legend in the ring here tonight. 
Well, the man, the myth, the legend normally comes when we're talking about Halloween, guys. Normally, but not when you're talking about. It comes when you're talking about the engineer champion. He's a man. He's a myth, and he's a legend because he holds a title. Right now, Mystic Ninja. Oh, back body drop on strike. And so far, this has been a very, very interesting battle between these two great competitors. Oh, and a huge clothesline from Strife. A huge clothesline is indeed correct, and now what is he gonna do? He whips him against the ropes, and he just throws him on the outside and tells him to bring it. Tells him to just bring it, apparently, is indeed correct. And now, and, oh, huge chop across the chest. And now, looks like Mystic Ninja is gonna go and get some weapons. He's gonna go get a guitar. That's an E2 right now. Mystic Ninja he puts him up and oh, Bulldog! Vicious Bulldog is indeed correct! Engineer is special! Oh! oh! And he knocks him with that guitar playing some tunes on Strife's head. That's an E correct! And now, as you can see, uh oh, what's gonna happen here? He's got him in the submission maneuver, but no! Looks like Strife got out of it just in the nick of time. Just in the nick of time is an E correct! And from Mystic Ninja. Big ol' hip toss, and now he's going for the camel clutch! Looks like, no, Strife, he's fighting back! Oh, and he fights right out of it! Fights right out of it is a knee, Greg, and now what's gonna happen, Strife? Whips him in the corner! He whips him in the corner, and Mystic Ninja fights right back! And ladies and gentlemen, oh, this is just an incredible matchup we have seen thus far. We have seen those four is indeed correct, and as you can see, Strife's going for something, something under the... Oh, he goes for a steel chair! He goes for a steel chair. Well, <laughs> Mystic Ninja goes for oh! a star. And looks like Strike is getting better. Oh, the AGW World Champion. That is indeed correct, what's gonna happen? Oh! oh! An elbow drop to Mystic Ninja, and looks like both of them got hurt from that exchange. It looks like that would be the case, and now they both tie up who's gonna win! Who's gonna win? Who's gonna walk away the victory? Oh! It looks like Mystic Ninja walks away the victory in that little competition. That is indeed true, and he's got him in another submission move! But no, Strife kicks out of it! Gets out of it as a knee, Greg, what's gonna happen here? Oh! Vicious uppercut! Vicious uppercut! And, oh, Bulldog from Strife! A vicious anti oh, oh, Bulldog! Oh, right. toss! And now, looks like Mystic Ninja's got that guitar! No way! Strike kicks away! Strife is in control of this incredible main event match. This has been a great back and forth battle between <laughs> a seasoned veteran and the injured area world champion. That is indeed correct, as you can see what's gonna happen here tonight. Right now, Mystic Ninja, he's got a kendo stick while uh, freaking Strife, oh, with a haymaker across Mystic Ninja's face. That is indeed correct, Mystic Ninja now. That is a new truth, Chris. It looks like. Wait a minute. He throws the chair. Bam! Right into his face. Right into his face is indeed correct. Right now, Mystic Ninja is in control of Strife. He whips him into the turnbuckle. And what is he going to do? Oh, drop kick. And another drop kick. Another drop kick is indeed correct. And uh, now, Mystic Ninja. Oh, with a kendo stick across the back. And a huge close play from the prime time player. Uh, Crossface submission maneuver. Will he make Mystic Ninja tap? I don't know, but it looks like Mystic Ninja is fighting and Strike just let go of the hole for someone. Oh, for that back body drop. And on the pin. One, two, two only one count away. That is really true, Chris. Right now, Strife is in control and Mystic Ninja, oh, gets knocked on the outside. Oh, gets knocked on the outside. And he missed with that incredible maneuver. If he would have connected, it would have done a lot of damage to Mystic Ninja. But it looks like it just was not meant to be. It was not meant to be as a deep Oh my god! But that chair shot was. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Right now, Strife is in control of his match. He rips 
And wait a minute, what? This is what's going to do it? Bulldog to the punch and player. Oh, fascist bulldog. Looks like, like Mystic Ninja is in complete control. But wait a minute, he whips him into the turnbuckle. What's he going to do? Drop kick. A vicious, vicious drop kick. Oh, Strike just gets out of the way. And a bulldog. And one! Oh, only a one count! Only a one count! And a hip toss from this ninja! And now he's just he's just pummeling him down to the ground, making sure Strife does not get back up. He gets back up! Oh and Haymaker! Finish his Haymaker! Uh oh! Oh, he's got him in a full Boston Crab! He's got him in a Boston Crab! Will he submit? Will he submit to this finishing maneuver? No, Missing Ninja gets out of it. Missing Ninja definitely gets out of that one. Wait a minute. Strike now. Oh, with a huge haymaker to the face. And once again, he's going for that maneuver. He's trying to get Missing Ninja to tap out here tonight. That is indeed true. Wait a minute. What? 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 They lock up. Who's going to get the better of it? And oh, punch to the face. And bam! There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That incredible maneuver, and now he, wait a no, Mr. Ninja, he comes back, he bursts it in, looks like it's gonna be the Death Valley Driver! Oh, the fascist Death Valley Driver! Bam! Just an incredible maneuver, wait a minute, here we go, one, two, only a two now. Story seven, okay, uh oh! Here we go yet again, with another Death Valley Driver! Wolf's gonna plan. Wolf's gonna set him up. And. Oh! 
Thank you for tuning in for this version of Drop Zone, but this is bullshit! 